this is Dr. Mary and Carol, and I wanted to explain to the class in a very succinct way the difference between delta G standard state, zero, and actual free energy, delta G. For purposes of this course, uh, I expect you to know how to use the equation uh, delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. Also, delta G zero, uh, which is equivalent to minus RT times the natural log of the equilibrium constant. I also would like for you to be able to calculate your equilibrium constant if given your standard delta G zero, which is the inverse log of delta G zero minus delta G zero raised to the uh, uh, power over RT. And uh, then the calculating actual free energy delta G, which is equal to delta G of the standard state plus RT, the natural log of the equilibrium constant. Okay, these are what you should know for how to use uh, in this course. But for your um, edification, and hopefully it's something that you can take with you and uh, keep with you, the free energy under standard state versus the uh, actual free energy can be represented in this graphic that I'm going to show you. We're going to use the reaction uh, involving ATP, the hydrolysis of ATP, which is reversible, to ADP plus inorganic phosphate. If we begin with pure ATP and the y-axis is the potential energy ATP has fairly high potential energy, so it's high up on the graph. On the x-axis, we're going to represent the x-axis uh, by Q. And Q is approximately equal to uh, the equilibrium, which is uh, equal to the concentration of products over the reactants. So we begin with the products which are zero concentration over here. And as the reaction goes forward, we lose the reactant as it forms ADP. And we reach a, a point in which there is no, all of the potential energy in ATP is gone. Of course, where did it go? It went into the production of heat sometimes and ADP plus the inorganic phosphate. These products now, which are pure, when there no, there's no reactant, have inherent uh, potential energy, which can also be lost in the reverse reaction. However, it's lost to a point where it also reaches a steady state, if you will, or a point in which there is it's all gone. So these two points here uh, refer to the fact that delta G, delta G, the change in G, is equal to zero. And so if we apply the Gibbs free energy equation, delta H is equal to T delta S. So the molecular motion, entropy, and the heat content, enthalpy, are equivalent at this point here. Now, the difference here between the inherent energy present in the products now and the inherent energy that was present in the reactant is our change under standard state from here to here. And so we 
we can make product going spontaneously in this direction because our change is equal to a negative value. Okay, anytime you go down the y-axis, you're going in the negative direction. Of course, if we want to go from our products to our reactants, we have to go in a positive direction. But both of these directions are spontaneous down to its steady state. Okay, and the overall change from reactants to the actual free energy is given by adding the two together. Okay, the free energy under standard state times the conditions under the, which the reaction will take place. RT, the natural log of the concentration of the products or the reactants. Okay, I hope that clears things up. Thanks for listening. And somebody's knocking on my door.